Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to discuss about how to use the Azure communication service to make a voice call. Uh, this is voice call will be voice over IP. Okay. Instead of the PSTN, which we saw in the previous video. Okay. So what we will do is exactly like this previous video of calling a phone number. We will go to the uh, voice co calling uh, samples, which uh, this uh, Microsoft or Azure have provided. And they have given the bunch of instruction. Okay, so I have listed out the instruction that we required. Uh, where it is? So if I go over here, voice call. Okay, so what is required? I will. Don't worry about this command. So uh, I will share with you uh, over the uh, description section in the video. Right. So let me go to the folder first. If I click back. Okay, so let me open the command prompt and run this command, right? So it will take few time uh, to get executed uh, and install the NPM packages. So I will pause. Oh, it is done. No, not done. Okay, after this also there is one more command. So let it execute. I'm giving that third command also this one related to webpack. And over here, we don't have to modify the script. They have done a good job uh, in the GitHub side by maintaining each and everything working. Okay. Now I will give over here the last command, which will be running the our uh, code into uh, I think 88 port number. Okay, so the code is running now in 88 port number, and what we will do over here is open this one right why oh, is taking time why oh, still not build it's building Okay, I think it is built. Okay, now what we see over here is a process to make a, a wipe call. Okay, now whom to call, right? I don't know. So, like in the Microsoft Teams, right, you have something called test call, right? So, that I will use over here also, right? So, first of all, I will get the user access token, and this is the ID of a test call. Okay, make it like this. Don't worry, this is again present in the description section. Let me go back to my over here, click over here, and since we are making a wipe call, I will copy the access token and paste it over here. Click submit. Once I click submit, what it will do is verify this access token, and if it is verified, then I will get this start call option. Now whom to call? I will be calling the uh, Microsoft team uh, test call, which is nothing but echoing back to the, uh, whatever I will say, it will echo back. Hello, welcome to Azure Communication Services audio testing system. To test your call quality, record a short message after the beep, then the message will be played back to you. Okay, so this is a read the manual uh, Azure communication service tutorial and this is a wipe calling testing. Okay, so this is a read the manual uh, Azure communication service tutorial and this is a wipe calling testing. Okay, so as you see that we are able to call this number, right? Now what about calling to a particular person, right? So what I can do is, or I, what I'm planning to do is, I will uh, first enable my ng rock and make this URL localhost available. Okay. So what I will do is, oops, ng rock. Open the command prompt. Okay. So it's a uh, ngrock HTTP over 8080 port, right? Now I got this URL and 
if I open this URL in a browser, it should open the same one, right? Uh, no. The T A T. Do I have to give T A T? No. Or is it HTTP? Let me try. Okay. Okay. So I was able to resolve the ng rock issue. Okay. Now what I have done is I have enabled the ng rock. Okay. What I will do is I will send this URL to my mobile. Okay. Because now what I'm trying to do is bot. What is that? Bot. Not Kumar at gmail.com okay what i am trying to do is open this url and now what i want to do is communicate over the uh, over the uh, network where both are running into the same server now using the acs right as your communication service we are going to talk between one person to another person right now we made a call to uh, we made a call to uh, echo call right uh, the microsoft team test call now what i want to do is a uh, call to a person to person right now how to do that so what i will do is i will generate one more token okay and this token is valid for 24 hours so where's my email hmm. i will go over here and paste it and send the email I will go to my screen mobile over here and what I will do is first of all I will copy everything open the this thing over here and paste it click submit now this mind you this has uh, this token was created was created for this identity so i don't have a name over here but this is a different user okay uh, so whom i want to call okay so let's say if i copy this one okay and uh, where is my communication service oh okay i don't have anything over here so just let me keep that string available over here so this is a user where we have logged in from my phone okay now what i will do is i will generate one more so this will give me a new user okay and i will copy this string over here and i will go to my over here click here submit and i will call to my previous user right so this is my previous user what i will do over here i will just do a start call and see if i get a call over here in my phone so if you see over here i'm getting a message of accept call right so once i click over there it has started and now, and now i can see, see that, that i am getting, getting two, two voices, voices. One from, from my this system, right? And this is another one I'm getting from my uh, mobile. So I will click on hang up over here. And this got call got disconnected. So this is voice over IP call where you can call from a browser from one system to another so system. Just to give you example, like if you want to make a voice call, or click to connect kind of a functionality where uh, agent want to connect to the user who is in the browser uh, and then they can connect so hopefully you find this video useful do like and subscribe thank you